the first thing you're going to do is take your brown paper and we're going to simulate cave walls. So cave walls aren't smooth, so we are going to crumple up our paper into a ball to make it look more like a natural cave wall. Once you've got it good and crumpled, you're going to open it up. And when you open it up, if it feels stuck, look for the corners and start kind of pulling it out at the corners. It's okay if it rips a little, it probably will. Then you're going to have to imagine that you are a prehistoric person and you have been out in the fields looking at all these animals and you want to come capture them. So you have to come back into your cave and get some chalk or rock or something that will make a mark on the cave and try different ones to see which ones work and then you're going to use your memory because you don't have a picture to draw out what these prehistoric animals look like. Well, we have pictures since you guys haven't actually been out on the fields all day, but you're going to draw your picture and outline it in black so that it shows. That would have been from the charcoal that they had from fires, and then you can color it in with some of the other colors that you might find in nature, so we're using kind of all natural colors. I'm going to do a giant woolly rhinoceros on mine, and then I'm going to draw some prehistoric horses in the background. And a lot of the cave artists would layer things because they would draw different things over time. No artwork is complete without a signature, so get your white colored pencil and write your name at the bottom.